Today, we're reliving the top 25 pulls from 2021. What's up, guys? We're back with another video. Today, we're going to be reliving the top 25 moments from this year. It's not just pulls this time. We're doing moments. So if it's from one video, it's all going to be in one moment. That means there's a lot of crazy pulls in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. We are doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Duelist Pack blister. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite moment out of all 25. You can just put the number in the comments, and let's get into the video. Okay. Let us see what we can do. Oh, there it is! Infinite Impermanence! I almost didn't even notice that it was Ultimate at first. That is a very nice pull. I'm not sure. Second to last pack of Gold Series Haunted Mine. Will it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Let's go. Let us do this. We did not move anything, so we're gonna go like this. Okay, these corners are a little jacked, which is scary. We're gonna look at the commons, which there are many. 22, actually. Dark Scorpion. Spellbook. Red Ogre. We got the Lady in White, I think, is actually an okay card. Patrician, Zombie Master, Don Zalug, and Dark Scorpion. The big cards of the pack. We've got a Graffa Dragon Lord of Dark World. Very cool. Call of the Haunted again. I mean, that's a cool one. It's got a chip on the edge already, which is not good. Hopefully that's on this card, not the Ghost. And will this be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? It is the Blue Eyes White Dragon! Oh, yeah! And it does have the Star Foil Bleed. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this looks so good. I don't know how people don't like this card. Genzo. No, wait. It, Wing Dragon Raw was with Slime, and then Genzo, and then there was another one. I can't remember what the other archetype was. Oh! Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon Ghost Rare! Oh, in the last five packs, you guys can win this too. This is a viewer ghost rare. Oh, no way. We pulled the ghost rare out of two boxes? That's crazy. I, Ash is in the booster box. That's what you say, but I, people are saying they pulled him from special edition, so I'm pretty sure that you can pull it from here. Ash is in the booster boxes! <laughs> yes! Halfway, we will pull Ash two more times. I believe. I believe. Yes! I believe! We got another one! We only need one more for the playset! Supreme Dragons. The, uh, is that the art guy? <laughs> yes, we pulled like six, I think. We pulled like six of that guy. Oh! Two! baby boom 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 two in this one box let's go Woo! let's go <laughs> i'm not really sure unending it's yeah i think our second i think it's our second yeah number four yes we got another one this is so awesome oh my goodness heart of the cards Come on, we need a third secret rare. Oh, Masterpiece! I thought it was the Ash, and now it's the Masterpiece! Last box magic! We did get one! We finally got it! What a good opening. That was awesome. Let's How much will do go start Magician Girl? It's gonna be a lot, man. It's gonna be a lot. There's a lot of good ones, though. Oh! Is this it? Is this the moment? Or is this a Leviathan? Is this Leviathan or is this Dragoon? If it's Leviathan, we gotta keep going. If it's Dragoon, it's over. Here we go. Yeah, get it ready. Here we go. Hype, 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 hype. Come on. Red Eyes Dragoon. Yeah, we got it. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Let's go. And the centering is pretty bad. So it looks like this is gonna be going in the deck. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. I think Stardust Overdrive is a little bit better than Ancient Prophecy. So we'll, we'll leave that one for last. Angel Prophecy, it is. Fossil Deeg. The card got reprinted a lot. Flame Bell Counter. Cyborg Doctor. It used to be a dollar. Oh! Oh! oh small talking! It's a ghost rare! It's a fairy dragon! We're recording, right? We are recording. Oh! Yuki Mo is not going to be happy, guys. Yeah, um, stating the obvious there. By the way, if you're wondering the ratios. Oh! Yes! As I was saying it, okay. Breaker the Magical Warrior, that's a super rare. Oh, that's minty. Centering's good too. This might have a PSA 10 chance, guys. 
and let's see what we can get. There are three very good ultimate rares in here. First of all, the Cyber Dragon, that's the one we want. There's also the Forbidden Droplet, which is a very big card as well. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. The first pack is a Cyber Dragon ultimate rare, and yes, you guys haven't seen this open yet, the ulti stamp is insane. Like, you can see the entire artwork through the back. There's not too many printings of Cyberstein. Um, so pretty good, because there's the Shonen Jump, obviously. You're not going to get that one. Very. Oh, wait. Forbidden Droplet. Yes, a huge pull. This is a very strong card in the meta. This is originally from Rise of the Duelist. Our best live case opening of all time was from Rise of the Duelist. Here we go. I guarantee there will be some comments like, dude, you got to slow down. I have been going kind of fast, sorry. Oh, Forbidden Droplet. Ultimate Rare. That's the second one. That's really nice. That texture is really nice. The ultimate. Wow. Yeah, look at the back of that thing. You can see it through the back. I don't think I've ever seen that Cyber Ouroboros card before. <laughs> I know I've seen it because of the Cyber Dragon um, theme deck. The uh, Oh, okay. I don't know if it's a structure. Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Spell Chronicle. Okay, we don't have the Secret Rare yet. This is a little, little bit scary. Yeah. Shield. Oh, Dark Grimper! That's probably the, that's second, the second best, best one. I think mean, that's the second best one. We are happy with that. That is beautiful. I couldn't tell it was a secret at first, and then I, I read what it was. I was like, oh, that's a secret rare. Look at that. There we go. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, this is a successful box. I can't say successful. Yeah. The different types of stum summoning, I'm not your guy. I don't even know how to link summon, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know how to link summon. Maybe we'll do a... Yes! Oh, look at it. There are, wait, are there print lines? I don't see any. Do you guys see any? Okay, what? here we go. Another Euro pack. Oh, this feels like a good one. Why does it feel? Okay, let's go like that. There we go. Okay, it's Similar, got, yeah, some oh, lines. oh, wow, that thing looks kind of bad from yeah. this angle. Yeah, but if you look like that, it looks nice. But yeah. yeah, we look like that. It's just oh, like, wow. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Can you guys see that? Really, man. Whoa. Okay, it's not quite raw level, but it's close. Look at oh. that corner. What the? This is like a retro pack secret. Yeah, an ultra or a secret to save us. Because we have now opened a lot of packs. Let's see what's in this one. Spiritual Energy, Settle Machine. We've got the Super Robo Lady. Troop Dragon. Feng Ching Mirror. Tyrant Dragon, let's go! The centering is terrible, and it has a little ding up there, but we finally got an ultra rare. We're taking it. We're Next taking heavy pack, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Been all right to us. I mean, we pulled some all right stuff. Definitely not bad cards, but we are looking for a little bit better. Let's see if we can improve right here. Dark Necrofear. Lady of Sailor Flames. We got the Dragonic Attack. Spherous Lady. Shining Abyss. And... Oh, and it was the Dark Necrofear. Okay. The centering uh, from side to side is not bad, but top to bottom is pretty bad. This is what I always see the Dark Necrofear is looking like. I already have a PSA 10 anyway, so I'm still really happy about this. Supposedly heavy. Retro pack one pack and salvage the opening because so far it's been rough. I am 0 for 8 opening this set. This is an interesting way you can open these. 0 for 8. I've never pulled a hollow. We don't know how the weights really work. So they, it was weight heavy, but we don't know if it actually worked or not. Inside, you can pull some crazy secret rares. You can pull the uh, Harpies. I already forgot. The Harpy secret rare. The Cyber Harpy lead. There we go. And some other awesome ones. And the back corners are usually messed up. So we'll check that if we do pull something. Harpy lead. There's also a scapegoat in here, which is a ton of money. Elegant Egotist. Pretty much any hollow. We've got a giant soldier of stone. And it's an effect monster. Could it be that Harpy? Cyber Harpy lady. There we go. Come on. Let's get something. Kaiba Man Secret Rare! It was a secret rare! Our first ever pull from Retro Pack 1 as a hollow is Kaiba Man Secret. It does have a print dot up there, which is totally fine. Overall, it was a pretty rough video, but this Kaiba Man really showed up for us and actually got us something at the end. Okay, 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 okay. Like button for luck, guys. Destroy it. Here we go. This is our chance. Well, we have a few more chances, but I have a good feeling about this. Spell reproduction. Gigi go. Exotic 
Zodia Necros! We got it! Oh my goodness! Okay, we gotta put this in sleep. I'm getting a little sweaty because I got hyped. Wow, what a third ultra. The centering is pretty good. That card is a solid candidate. Let's pull something good. I hope you guys are hyped about this video because I just decided, you know what? We got this box. Let's just open it up. Hida, the fire charmer. Not too many like crazy valuable commons. There are the elemental heroes though, which is cool. Final ritual of the ancients. Here we go. Ultimate rare! I had to look twice! Oh my goodness! We got an ultra ulti! Finally! I didn't think it would be that fast! The finale, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for since the first pack. There should be two ultimates in the box. Can we pull another ultra ulti? Thunder Giant, Gear Go obviously Gear Golem is the absolute dream to pull. The absolute dream. So we're gonna try and go for that. Alright, guys. Hit the like button for luck. The ultimate like button. Here we go. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun, obviously, for me. And we pulled the, the crazy card. Okay, burst in a tricks. Final ritual of the ancients. We've got an ancient gear soldier. Gift of the martyr. Okay, we've got an ancient gear soldier. We just need the, the, the daddy, the golem. Here we go. Gift of the martyr. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, we got a Reshef, the Dark Bean. Oh, why is the why do the stars look like that? We got another Ultra Ulti, so we will take this all day. What a fantastic box. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, finally! The Hidden Packs have the Ultimate Rare. Trap Tricks, Trap Hole, Nightmare. Finally, we got something. A Trap Tricks Trap Old Nightmare. They were hidden below the uh, Turbo Pack 6 or Turbo Pack 8. The Turbo Pack 5 just seems like a weird one to reseal, but, you know, people will do anything. Um, these are hard to open, though. I don't know if that's normal. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and watch my other video and see how hard or easy they were to open because I had a sealed box. So, it's, nope, it's good. Colossal Fighter Ultimate Rare. I, call, I knew it. I called this Ultimate Rare. Okay, we're back, guys. All of that doubt for like probably 20 minutes of the video. We've got a Colossal Fighter that turns out to be a pretty great card back in the day. I mean, that's a pretty cool card. Turbo Pack 2. And those Champion Pack 3 and 4, we only have one to start with, which is why we have no... <gasps> oh! That's a big one! Chaos Sorcerer Ultra Rare! Oh! That's a big one! That's like $360, I think. Last I checked with my GOAT deck, which was just a couple weeks ago, it was $360-something for one of these. This is the last one before the last of each. One more big hit would be great. I mean, we have not had great ratios, for sure. The ratios have been rough. Maybe we can get a foil. Oh! <gasps> 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 on a Light Sword Summoner! Oh! Speaking of big foils! That is the big foil. Oh, that's probably worth several hundred dollars. Oh my goodness. That one might be worth more than the Cat Sorcerer. It, it's, it's close. Wow. Five big bulls. So here we go. What's up, Simbo? All right. What is this, Joe? All right, here we go. Amulet's Rescue Road. We got a Destiny Hero Fearmonger. The Paths of Destiny. Orbital Bombardment. Oh, right off the bat, we got an Elemental Hero Flare Neos. Ultimate Rare. It's a little bit off center. One of the best cards in the set right on the cover, guys. The cover is giving us some good luck. Elemental Hero Flare Neos. How much is it worth? Somebody, uh... Somebody, um, check it out. Check out the price. Ultimate Rare First Edition. So already an Ultimate Rare. That's a good start. Can we get the Elemental Hero Dark Bright? No, I'm just kidding. That's Tactical Evolution. Elemental Hero Neos. Nice. Oh! Back-to-back -ho -ho! -back Flare Neos! We got the Ultra Rare version this time. All right, yeah, we're just waiting for Prodigy to bring out the brownies, you know? We're just waiting for him. Okay, Flying Saucer. Oh! 
Zoyer, oh, Flare Neos. A second Flare Neos. That's good. Let's try another Invasion of Chaos, please. Can we pull it? The Legendary. Grand Majude Isa? No. Heart of the Underdog? Be gone, Nave. And... Oh, a Dark Magician of Chaos. <laughs> we cannot pull the BLS, but man, can we pull the Dark Magician of Chaos. Time for a Dark Crisis. We've got Keldo. Drag down on the grave. Rod of Silence cased. Exodia Necros! I called it! I sensed the Dark Lord Exodia Necros. Here we go. Very nice. Final five packs. Let's go with Invasion of Chaos because we do have three of these. It's been a good one so far. We've had some pretty good luck. We've cooled down a little bit. But let's just end it with something big. Stealth Bird. Soul Tiger. Yes! Black Luster Soldier! We did it! Yes! I didn't think there was anything in there. It didn't look like suspicious or anything at all. Black Luster Soldier! We finally done it! Oh my goodness! I had a good feeling about this video. We're just pulling so many good cards. Legend of Blue Eyes, two more packs. I can't believe we finally pulled Black Luster Soldier and it late left it to the last five packs. Or was it the last four packs of a 39-pack opening? Root Water in Warrior number two. This is the best video ever! The blue eyes! I should've opened that last! Oh! What an unbelievable opening. You guys ready for the reveal? This could be the card that I've opened. 130 something boxes to get. Woo, here it is. Is it gonna be the Starlight? Please be the Stardust, come on. Will this be it? All right, let me pull it off right this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, the double starlight case at 90,000! Yes! 134 boxes! Let's go! Unbelievable! Oh my goodness, the double starlight case! Yes! Yes! We finally did it! Let's go! Good, because then I get some good info out of it. I think they talked about it a lot. So maybe I'll go back and watch that at some point. But maybe if I'm considering it. There's a starlight. Um, guys, hate to do this to you. We're gonna we're gonna save this for later. Alright, let's put this starlight down right here. We're gonna we're gonna have this wait around a little bit to see what we get. We've already gotten a starlight. Almost time for the reveal. What will the starlight be? This is a starlight card. I believe it's what? The next one? Is it the next one? So it's going to be second to last? Let's just do this to be safe. We know it's not these. <sighs> Starlight IP, baby. If it's IP, we lose it. If it's IP. If not, we have hope. We still have the rest of the case. Oh! Yes, it was! IP chat is correct! Starlight Rare $1,000 Yu-Gi-Oh card! This is like $800 more than every other Starlight. What a pull. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Starlight Rare IP Mascarena. One case. I mean, this seems like a lot, but it's one in eight cases, basically. One in a hundred boxes. Starlight Mascarena. Can this case pot? I mean, if it has a double Starlight, this is like the craziest thing ever. A few moments later. He's got a nice pull. When did he get the starlight? We just we got it a few minutes ago, I think. <gasps> no! It's another one! We're sending down. We gotta calm down. Another starlight. <laughs> Double starlight case. Double mask. Double mask arena. Is it gonna happen? What is this? Roscoe, thanks for the five. What is going on? We can get the what is this button. What is, what is this? this? What is this? Let's go. Oh! Oh, what is happening? What is happening? This is the best opening ever. What? There's three starlights. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is happening? There's another one. There's three. I'm going to pass out. This is insane. This is why you open the whole case. This is why. Every time. I need more sleeves. Double Mascarena. And there's another starlight right there. I was never expecting three. I've never seen three before. Now we have a chance to pull a third Starlight Rare Mascarena. It looks like it's the next card. So we're going to go 
Just to make sure we don't ruin it, we're gonna go like this. This is it. This is our final chance at a starlight. This could be a play set of Masquerade out of a singular case. This could be the craziest opening I've ever done. Whew, let's go. Clover's in the chat. Pequeno moths. Oh, I thought it was it. It's the goddess empress of the evil eye. It was, it was a link. I was like, oh my goodness. I mean, there's a lot of links, but we will take it a third starlight in one case. First pack. No one has pulled anything out of retail yet. No one has pulled anything out of retail. No goblin attack force yet. <laughs> Hopefully none are pulled. <laughs> no offense, goblin. I do like goblin attack force, but not the one you're really looking for. We've got a steel ogre grotto number two. We've got an earth shaker. Come on, let's get some. Mr. Volcano. We've got a Gradius and... Oh, an Imperial Order! So we did get a Secret Rare. So he's got a chance at a Secret Rare. And he pulled the Secret Rare. He could get double Imperial Order. But there still could be like... That probably means we have nine more foils in there, which is really, really good. We have a Mystic Probe. Solomon's Law Book. Deep Sea Warrior, DNA Surgery, and, yeah, these are Ed. Oh, 1,000 Hydra Strength! What a pull! Oh my goodness! Unbelievable! Check out that centering. Not great on the centering. Let's check the back. That, the, 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 what am I trying to say? The surfaces are very clean on here. Next pack. Hobby pack. Is Spike bought a short print? I feel like I get that one every time. Insect Imitation. Attack and receive. Isn't, wait, is Insect Imitation or Multiplication of Ants is like five bucks now. Island Turtle. We've got the World Suppression and... Oh, a Legendary Fisherman. Nice Ultra Rare. It is pretty OC, but this is a crazy good opening. Double foils have been pulled. First edition hobby pack. Blue Eye 98. Let's get you something good. Let's get you something good. That's a shallow pull. Oh, these puns, you guys, you guys are killing me. All right, Dark, Dark Fire Soldier number two. We've got a bite shoes. Can we get the gin zone here? All seeing white tiger. We've got a ground collapse and. Not a bad win right there. Very nice. Very nice. Let's check the centering. Oh, it's not too good on the centering. Let's check the back. Back looks pretty good. Okay, the back looks good. Next up, retail pack. Or a uh, hobby pack. This one we're hoping for a super. Unless there's a third ultra. It has happened on Simply Unlucky Stream. It happened on one of mine once. So it's possible to get a third ultra. Could be a nice little steal to get in there. We've got a Dark Fire Soldier. Bite shoes. All seeing white tiger. And third ultra! That's why you open the bag, Buster Blader! That's why you open it! Oh my goodness! They slept on it! And look what happened! What a box! Legendary Fisherman! Buster Blader! Jinzo! Let's just open this one up and see what happens. It's just more excitement than anything else. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright, All right, guys. Oh, uh, 20 years in the, in the <laughs> this is open let's check out what's yeah, in here yeah it just like fell open yeah that's weird okay let's see we might have to open to a hollow to make sure definitely man okay yeah. all right come here definitely real cards yeah the cards are 100 percent real they would be much redder on the back and if then they were the not. text would be off too okay dark gray okay crimp crimp it's a secret rare. Okay, it's 100% real, that's for sure. Wow. Bring that boy out in the sun. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I was like, what is going on with this pack? So they just have like one random printing that's just kind of weird for tournament pack commons sometimes. And then they just have a ton of value because there's just no other cards of them. They're kind of unique. All right, third pack, here we go. We got the statue of the Easter Island. If that doesn't remind you of Night at the Museum, I don't know what, what will. The Judgment Hand, here we go. Make sure you guys hit the like button for this video, because this is pretty expensive. Pretty epic old opening.
The centering is pathetic. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Mechanical Chaser Ultra Rare pulled from Tournament Pack 1. Unbelievable. That is so epic. What's up, guys? We're back with another epic video. We are here with the one and only Ruxin34. Oh, we're here with myself. Yeah. All right, and Rhyme Stop. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, by the way, these Retro Pack 2 are like a grand now. Yeah, so it's like so the Retro Pack 1 are insane, but like even these are a grand, which is nuts. What kills me is, is the quality for the cards aren't really that good. So it's like Retro Pack 1. Who's is, buying these? It's awful. It's awful. Masker Strike. I'm cool. mad because we just can't buy any more of them. Yeah, I'm pretty mad. Yeah, I wish we could get it for 200 again. <laughs> oh my gosh! The unlimited green baboon! <laughs> yes! I'm nervous. You're starting you, it you, off. Why do I have to start it? You're starting it off. Okay, okay. So, so far out of this box, I've pulled Dark Magician, I've pulled Curse of Dragon, Polymerization, and Flame Swordsman. So I think Raigeki would be a six super. Obviously for ultras, we want blue eyes. We want Exodia head. We really want blue eyes. I can't believe I'm doing this, dude. Can you see how much these packs this? are? Have you ever opened this? No, this is my first time. I think if it's for like a heavy pack, I would guess it's like at least two grand, probably oh more. Oh my god! And it's funny, I've opened Pokemon packs that are worth way more, but for some reason, LLB first edition is like opening first edition Shadowless. Like it's hard to find. It's really hard to find. All right, Yurabi. So I can't fail this. This is a heavy. Okay, it's glossy, so it may or may not be heavy. It's God. supposed to be heavy, so okay. we'll see. It's the next one. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. Oh, yes! I called it! <laughs> Let's go! This is such a good box. That's, all that's the best probably supers. the best super. That is Poly, the best super Flame Swordsman, and Raigeki in the same box. Woo! Oh my goodness! Well, let, me, let me sleep this up so I can finish the rest of the pack. That is that is lit. Yeah. Okay, so there so should be that, one more. Should be okay. This should technically be it. I think this is the heaviest pack, right? I th I think so. Yeah. I can't remember if we set it up like that or not. But uh, we pulled Dark Magician with Leah, and now we are hopefully gonna pull Blue Eyes with Rhyme. Here we go. We need uh, his I, luck. Might, I might scream. <laughs> Come on, Spike <laughs> Seedra. Let's do this. I'm right next to this mic, so I gotta be careful. Mammoth Graveyard, come on. Fire Grass. Oh, this I had crazy luck this past week. That's why I use it all up on myself. Oh, yeah! Exodia! The Forbidden One! Dark Magician is probably the second best pull. There's Exodia, right. the Forbidden One, oh Red God. Eyes. You could pull a piece of Exodia. We don't really want that, though. Okay, um, we just so... want the head. The head we want. <laughs> okay. The head of Exodia? Yeah, that's valuable. The arms and stuff are, there's just so many of them. I don't, I don't know if you've seen recently, they just announced V Uni, I mean Uni yes, Pokemon. Yes, I got the Exodia. Everybody's like too. saying it's U Exodia. <laughs> I saw that, okay. yes. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, starting off with a forest, making some room over here. So, forest. Ooh. Skull service. That's actually a good common. Just because people think it's hilarious. I love that card, just for memory purposes. Rain Phantom King. That's classic. Hitsumi Giant. Oh, this is it. And we have oh! a Flaming Swordsman. Okay. Where's Joey? Where's so, Joey? It was heavy then. So that's weird. So maybe it didn't work. Right. It, that that's hasn't why got I, to that level yet. Yeah. For that set. That's why I was just really excited about potentially getting. Yeah. Uh, not the just the, the Toon Dragon, but. A couple other ones which struck chords with me way back when. All right, this is the final Magic Ruler pack for myself. All right, Whiptail Crow, Performance of Sword. Let's get that two blue eyes team. Giant Turtle Feet on Flames. I love that. <laughs> Magical Labyrinth. And a. Oh! No way! Secret Rare, let's go! <laughs> is this real? Legacy of Darkness. We're gonna start off with one pack. I don't know if we can possibly do that well, but we have not pulled the Injection Fairy Lily, guys. I wanna see it, I wanna so see it. So if, if there's a way to win this not actual pack battle. Yeah, there we go. How's it look? Oh, go over here. Yeah, I'll just look on the right. Yeah, so okay. Room for our faces. Right, right, you're, you're a pro with this. All right, Spirit Ryu. We've got the Spiritual Energy Settle Machine. Super Robo Lady. 
and... Oh, oh <laughs> First bat! First bat! Oh, <laughs> Here we go. Well, hey, let's hope. What would, look, like, obviously, blue eyes. Blue eyes is the number one card. Dark then Magician's my favorite. Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and Exodia Head are all okay. very big. They're big. Oh, I've pulled Red Eyes on the on my channel, so we'd prefer I'd one of the I'd say, what if we pull any two. of those? I'm just going to get really excited. Obviously, if we pull any Legend, of those, uh, I, I, mean, might I might pass out, just saying. Um, and of course, I'm getting sleeve ready just in case. Super rares are great. Any foil is good. That, and also, it means that might actually scale the packs, which is kind of good. Maybe we can actually know what we're going to pull. Mm. May or may not happen. We'll see. All right. Kumutoko. We got some weird ones. Um, definitely glossy cards. Yeah, I noticed that yeah, one. You see that? That's the difference. Glossy looks like this. Wavy looks a little mm. different. All right. Kumutoko. It just looks really nice. Forest. Very good. I like the magic cards in the originals. They're just the nice green. I'm a big green fan. Mm -hmm. We got some green in the background as well. Skull Servant. That's pretty good. The centered He's commons back. too. These actually are worth a little bit if they're graded. Mm-hmm. Green Phantom King. Is it okay, this? this is it, guys. Okay, here we go. Dark Magician has been pulled. Oh my, oh my gosh! There's the sleeve. I hit your camera. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't believe this. This is insane, man.